Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today it's going to be kind of a bit of a different video because I get a lot of emails about what tools I use or what's needed and all that kind of um, stuff. So um, I've gone ahead and just basically rounded up everything that I use almost, well actually daily, that I would need to use into either drone fixing or drone building. Now this doesn't include obviously a multimeter and a soldering iron. However, if you're curious about my soldering iron, I've had that for over a year, it's still functioning perfect. And in, in my opinion, it's probably one of the best you could find. It's only around $125. It has everything, multimeter, hot air, uh, power supply, USB charge, uh, everything, everything. And it comes with a bunch of things. So if you missed that, I'll leave a link to that video down below so you can see my soldering iron. But other than that, I'm just going to talk to you about the few very cheap and very important tools that I use and what I consider to be a must have um, for to make your life actually easier and to make your overall builds come out cleaner. So let's go ahead and begin here. Um, one of the first tools that I actually got very late into quad building were these little titanium uh, screwdrivers. Now, they, these do come in a set, and the set is going to be, I think it was four or five, I, I lost the other two somewhere. But the only three you're going to be using from these is the 2.5 millimeter, the 2 millimeter, and the 1.5 millimeter for your micros. Now, these are titanium plated, and I have yet to ruin one of these, and I have been just hammering down on many quads and just many things and these are just holding up absolutely beautiful i've actually gotten two sets of these i'm waiting for the second set to come in right now one i'm going to keep in my backpack and one i'm just going to keep at home uh these have these are just absolutely beautiful i, I haven't had any issues with them i've been waiting uh to see you know just long-term use how they're holding up they have yet to strip any screw unless the screw is absolute crap but if the screw wasn't these no way in hell have stripped and their, their edges are still holding out very well and they're just super awesome another thing super cool about these actually is that one of them they're cheap and another thing you could actually replace the heads so if you ever needed to replace the head just pull that out and just replace it you can go ahead and buy um whatever you want really there's many different types of heads but i've had this i think around two to three months so far and they're just beautiful i use them daily Daily, 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 I use these. And um, taking the quad apart, putting motors in. These are very good to actually tighten your motors in instead of using some LN screws. I used to be using the LN screws and um, I would just constantly strip all of my, most of my hardware. And I'm pretty sure most of you know what I'm talking about. Um, however, these till this day are the best investments I've ever made into tools, especially into drone building. And um, I'm very happy and very pleased with it. I think they're less than $10, but these are a must have if you're into this. So let's put these guys to the side here. Now, another thing also for drone building and kind of sometimes you might need to route a wire somewhere is needle nose tw tweezers here. These guys are very cheap, but very, very, very useful. And uh, they do help you solder and have good, nice solder joints, basically. Uh, let's just say we're holding a wire and you know the wire is obviously going to get hot so you're not going to burn your finger and going to just want to move your finger and then ruins the whole thing and you might have solder splatter on the flight controller it's happened to me before on the previous build it just happened to me so yeah these are very important and i highly recommend you have some they're very cheap you can get these for like a dollar uh so i'll leave i'll leave a link to what i have here down below if you want to get those uh these proved to be so far true titanium i think because they have not wore out and i've been using them daily for a while now a good two months so th these these i find very good and um i won't try any other kind to be honest because that's it they work they're beautiful and it's what i needed and uh, i'm happy with them now standoffs is a bit of um kind of tricky because i've bought many standoffs before because I, I built i built many quads obviously you know from the channel and the ones that i find to be the best standoffs are actually these they're called the sleeve they're pretty cheap they're maybe a dollar more expensive than the others but the reason why I know these are good is, you know, when you go ahead and put this in your frame, basically, and you start screwing in your metal screw into your standoffs to hold the flight controller into place, uh, these are the ones that tend to not strip so easily. You can actually get a good tight feeling into them. So the plastic used in these nylon standoffs is very good. And uh, whenever I get the chance, I actually use these because I do end up sometimes stripping them uh, off the cheap ones. So um, I always... Basically, most of the time, throw away the ones that come with the frame 
and I use these instead because I could trust these. And trust me, when one of these goes bad, it could just create nightmares in the field, especially if you have to replace it. So I just go with, you know, good quality standoffs because it really it can make a difference. And um, this is what I prefer. And this is, you know, from my personal experience from buying all this standoffs. These are the ones that I'm just sticking to from now on because they're just they're, they're good for me. Alright, so another thing that's super, I think is super important also is Hemo stats. Now these are pretty cool because you can grab, you know, your fat XT60 connector wire, hold it, and then it'll clip right here as you can see that. It'll, it'll just clip, so, like that. And now you don't have to hold it from here anymore. So you can basically hold it like a pen, it's still holding the wire. And um, what, you, what you do, just apply pressure, grab your soldering iron, boom, that just goes in. Uh, this will keep your overall build very clean. And I'm pretty sure many of you have seen this on the channel. And um, yeah, I, I, this guy is just a lifesaver and um, makes the overall quad just come out beautiful. It's not a must have, but it's a very, very, very good to have uh, thing. However, some people might disagree saying you might ruin the wire. Um, it's possible, but I mean, you know, the silicone wires, I haven't ever, I've only maybe ruined one wire, but it doesn't really matter. This gives me very clean results and I'm very happy with. And um, yeah, you would only need to buy this once and you're good to go. Now, something else, there's two more things left on the list. Um, you know, heat shrinks. Which heat shrinks do I use? I've actually bought this pack from Banggood. I actually bought two packs. And since then, I have not purchased any other heat shrinks. Since the beginning, and actually even before the beginning of my channel, I've only been on these two packs. That I, it comes in a pack of 300 pieces for like five bucks or seven bucks. And um, I, till this day, I've, I mean, you've seen all the quads I've built and everything. I still have more. I still have even closed packs that I haven't even opened because it comes in like a uh, 300 pack in different sizes. You get super tiny. You get just a bunch of stuff. Um, I'll, I'll leave a link down below to it and you could you could check it out yourself. Um, just bought two. Pa I'm still on those two packs. I don't even need to purchase a uh, heat shrink, which is just amazing, to be honest. It's been over a year now and uh, I'm just still on those two packs. I just recently actually opened the second pack. And um, yeah, they're very good. Now, another thing, you know, that I actually, you've probably seen this many times while I'm building. It is my silicone pad. I got this for, like, I think, I don't know, $7 maybe. Uh, this is A4 size. So just to understand sizing, the lower the A number, the bigger the pad. So if I got A3, it would be bigger than this. A4, this is like your basic print size paper you know that you use in a printer however as you can see it's pretty thick here and this is just absolutely amazing no matter what you do it won't burn it'll, it'll get dirty but you could clean that off i mean you think it's burned but it's not this is just um flux residue and all kinds of crazy stuff i could just place my soldering iron down here and i can good to go and sometimes i even use it to hold push down the wire and just start soldering while i'm pushing on this thing and uh, nothing will happen so this silicone pad is super awesome and another thing i use it for is i take it with me when i go out to the field sometimes uh recently after i got my ts100 uh portable sorting uh, soldering iron and i just set this in the back of my car i set up the t uh ts100 i think that's what it's called and i do my work right on this guy because i know i don't have a chance of risk you know uh, burning something in my car but you know some people might have a bench but for me it's very difficult I, I just use this on my car also so it just fits exactly where my laptop will fit and i would just take it and only have one and uh, i think this will last you a very very long time so yeah this is very nice it'll keep whatever you're working on um in good shape and uh, many of you have been interested in this i also got this from banggood i'll leave a link down to this this size is a2 it's pretty big it's um 48 centimeters by 60 centimeters uh, so this is a2 size and this is a a4 size so the lower the a the bigger the mat you will be getting so i'll leave a link to everything here down below and um this stuff is absolutely useful and i'm <laughs> i use this stuff on every single build or, or if i have to fix something or a tear down um these are always next to me these are always next to me however these are not always sometimes if i break a standoff but i'm just letting you know because this this can make a difference it can, it can give you hell in the field if you don't have good standoffs hemostats are very nice to have very very nice to have it's a huge plus to have actually and um heat shrink heat shrink is a must have to be honest you're not going to be able to do those little uh let's just say camera wires with with some tape it's just going to be terrible inside there you could do it you could total wig but it's going to be very difficult because they're so tiny 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 gauged wires so um yeah and well that's it guys so you guys requested it and um here it is and i hope it helped someone out there guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any questions or any suggestions 
feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.